Welcome to this video tutorial about the Dollybar ERP and CRM system. In this video, we will look at how to use the invoices and payments module in Dollybar. Prerequisites Activate the module invoices from menu Home, Setup, Modules. You must also enable the Banks and Cash module. Grant permission on the invoices module for your users. For more advanced information on how to set up permissions to users, you can watch our video Users, Groups and Permissions. Creating an invoice Let us explore the various ways in which you can create an invoice. You can create an invoice from a commercial proposal that is in the accepted status by clicking on the appropriate button. Information available in the commercial proposal, such as third-party payment terms and project, are copied automatically into the invoice. Similarly, you can create an invoice from a sales order that has been validated. from a purchase order from a contract or subscription as well as from an intervention You can also create an invoice or credit note from a third party by navigating to the Customer tab. You can also create an invoice directly from the Billing and Payments tab. Choosing the invoice type. Choose the third party you are creating the invoice for. A down payment invoice is created when a down payment has been received. You will be able to include it into another draft invoice later to reduce the amount of this draft invoice. Credit note invoices can be created to replace or correct previously issued invoices and they can only be issued from a third party by navigating to the Customer tab or from the invoice you want to correct. You will be able to consume this credit note later to reduce the amount to be paid for a validated invoice. Template invoices are a way to create recurring invoices, which we will cover later in this video. Choose the invoice date, payment terms, payment type and bank account. If the module project is enabled, you will be able to choose a project, choose the currency and add any public or private notes. Once the invoice is created, you can add products and services along with pricing information for the same. You can add multiple products and services. You can choose from existing products and services to pre-fill the pricing information. Use the linked files menu to add any attachments to the invoice. Validating and sending the invoice. Click on Validate to validate the invoice. Now the invoice is ready to be sent to your customer. A default template is used for the generated PDF file. You can now use the Send Email button to send the invoice to your customer. Note that all the invoice details are automatically attached to the email. Invoices payment If you have received payment for an invoice, click on the Enter Payment button to record the payment in the system. Choose the date, payment type and account to credit. Enter the transaction number and any comments. Enter the payment amount and confirm the payment. 
Note that if you received a partial payment, you will be able to enter a payment again once the full payment due for the invoice has been received and recorded, the invoice is automatically closed. For invoice payment, you can also request a direct debit payment order, which can then be managed from the bank's menu under Payment by Direct Debit. If you receive only a partial payment for an invoice and do not expect to receive the balance payment, use the appropriate button to record such a payment, choose a reason and enter any notes. The invoice will be closed and will change into the paid status. If you do not expect to receive any payment for an invoice, you can classify the invoice as abandoned. Choose a reason and enter any notes. The invoice will be cancelled and moved to the abandoned status. If you have received payment in excess, click on the appropriate button to issue a refund. Provide the payment details, enter the payment amount and confirm the refund. On a down payment. Once the payment has been entered, the down payment is automatically closed and converted into an available discount, so you will be able to consume the discount in another draft invoice. For validated credit notes, you can enter a refund instead of a payment, but you can also decide to convert the credit notes into credit available for this customer, so you will be able to consume the discount later, reducing the amount payable on another validated invoice. Invoices Module Features Use the Clone button if you want to create a similar invoice in the future. Invoices in the draft status can be converted into a template invoice, which is a way for issuing recurring invoices. For more information on how to issue a recurring invoice, refer to the video on recurring invoices. You can view the list of invoices with the relevant payment status in the list view. You can also view the list based on invoice status such as draft, not paid, paid and abandoned. Payments are available under the payments list view. You can create reports for payments that are received on a monthly basis. The report is instantly available for download in the PDF format. Statistics gives a bird's eye view of all customer invoices. You can filter the statistics based on the available parameters. There are plenty of other features that can be enabled from the setup. Also, like most Olibar modules, you can add your own custom fields to your invoices and you will be able to export your database of invoices and payments. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. Visit www.dolibar.org to learn more.